Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel where we discuss and explore all things flameworking. Today's subject is tubulation. Webster's defines this word as the act of making or shaping a tube. By this definition, blowouts would be considered tubulations, but for our purposes, we will define it a bit more specifically. In flameworking, tubulation means to make a hollow form out of a solid gather of glass. The specific techniques that I'm going to demonstrate today are some of the most useful tricks you may have never heard of. Tubulation is essentially an alternate solution to simply adding another piece of hollow tube to a form. The main advantage is speed. Tubulation is very quick, while welding and cleaning up a tube-to-tube -tube seal can be quite time-consuming. Tubulations are perfect for seals that are not round or straight, a very common issue in hollow form sculpting. Here are some examples of hollow forms that utilized tubulations. Another common use for tubulation is when you add a solid glass element to a hollow form. In this case, a shallow tubulation is a way of making a more gradual transition between the two elements, which makes it both stronger and more aesthetically pleasing. Finally, shallow tubulations are useful for creating surface details on a hollow form where there may not be enough wall thickness to simply puff the detail out. The theory behind tubulations is that the glass cools more quickly where it is thinner. This means that you can blow the end of a heated gather gradually, drawing the gather away while puffing to apply pressure. At the perimeter of the seal, the glass will cool, while in the center of the gather, it remains hot, allowing the maneuver to continue. But timing is crucial. If you time it right, you can create long, tapered, hollow additions to any form. Let's try it. This exercise is simply to make a bunch of tubulations on a single bubble. Repetition will help you learn the timing more quickly and you won't throw away so much glass. Just before you make the attachment, the gather should be as hot as you can get it while the surface where you will attach the gather needs to be glowing pink. When you make the attachment, the surface of the bubble should give way to the gather, caving in slightly. You should hesitate for just a second or two to let the glass grow a skin around the seal. Then start puffing and pulling. As you get further along, the tubulation will get narrower. This is because you are using up the glass in the gather as you go. You should end up with a long, tapered addition. Watch carefully as the move progresses. 
slow down if the tubulation starts to get too thin, and hurry up if it starts to get too stiff. Once complete, the tubulation can be reheated and reshaped as you would any hollow piece of glass. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and check back often for more interesting info on flameworked glass. Thanks for watching.